hey you guys welcome back to my channel so today i just wanted to walk you guys through my current upper body routine that really has helped me shed a lot of back fat and just really tone my arms and yeah just really you know build a little bit of muscle but not too much i know a lot of us don't want to look too bulky like looking bulky in my upper body is not my goal but you know i'm so much more stronger now that i'm doing this routine and you know the back is looking really nice these days so yeah i'm gonna walk you guys through this workout so i am first starting off with just 10 minutes of cardio just on an incline just at a nice speed that um you know i'm not like going too fast or you know not going too slow either just something that'll help keep um get my heart rate up and just get my body nice and warm and yes ladies if you want that hourglass shape you need to train your upper body i promise you your proportions will look so much better like i didn't even realize how much like i had built in my back and like now i got that like hourglass figure shape back there i'm like okay you know we're doing it but yes i this workout will definitely you know get you there over time so stay tuned um this is basically how i write out my workout plans for the week i keep it very simple i pick like four to six workouts that you know um, target each area of my upper body and i repeat these workouts about twice a week but i keep it very simple and don't overcomplicate the workouts just progressively overload over time and you will for sure see results the first exercise that i'm going to be doing is shoulder press now i was not doing shoulder press when i first started my fitness journey but since adding these into my routine these have been a game changer bro like these will help so much with overall strength and if you like deadlift or like to squat these for sure will help you with that and just help gain you know really good strength in your upper body and i i have been going heavier lately uh, of course over time i'm not just like increasing my weight every single day but um yeah i really did not know i could even press this so like don't underestimate yourself you know of course progressively overload slowly but girl i was pressing 30s and what like yeah so all that to say just don't underestimate yourself <laughs> now i'm going into push-ups right now i'm just doing as many as i can honestly i think i did like two or two to four sets no i did four sets of uh four reps so you know these i was never doing before i didn't even know i could do a real push-up either but I'm telling you, do not underestimate yourself, especially if you have been training correctly, you know, and you're gaining muscle, you're eating protein and all that stuff. Like, don't underestimate yourself. You should definitely try to do a regular push up um, and challenge yourself, you know, whatever um, rep range you decide to do for these. If you can't push out your last one, just switch it to an assisted one. So you can do the girly push-ups or you can do them on the bench but make sure to you know get that last rep in okay now we gotta hit these shoulders so i'm just doing some shoulder raises and i am sticking to heavier weights for whatever exercise that i'm doing and a lower rep range to really help facilitate fat loss one thing i did not know when i first started my fitness journey was to continue to increase my weight to lose weight i was always dropping my weight and doing higher reps but you really need to be still increasing your weight and like still using progressive overload in order to see fat loss and you also will increase your muscle mass okay now let's get into the fun part i love training my back so these for sure are a favorite i would usually use the barbell but i have limited equipment in this gym so i'm just using what i have and I'm just doing cable rows. So same same thing as a barbell row, but um, I feel like it's cooler because it gives you a lot more resistance and you probably could lift a lot heavier on the cable than you would barbell. Um, so yeah, 
Another one of my favorites for upper body day are the lat pull downs. These have definitely changed my back so much, like in a good way. <laughs> like I've built so much more muscle and just more shape in my um, upper and lower back doing these. So again, don't be afraid to lift heavy, but again, do it over time. Set um, a goal, a goal weight, you know, every two or three weeks, and then you can increase your weight that way. Um, so you're not overtraining and burning out. And this was my last exercise. So after this, I just did 10 minutes of cardio just to cool down, get my heart rate down. Um, so all you need is five to 10 minutes, I promise. And yeah, now we're gonna go ahead and make breakfast because your girl is hungry. All right, y'all, so we're back from the gym and first thing I do is definitely make some breakfast. And this is my go-to breakfast right now. So I'm just cutting up some Oscar Mayer turkey bacon. I'm being a little bit extra. You definitely don't have to cut it up that way, but whatever. Um, it kind of makes it fun, makes omelet fun. Um, I'm just using some olive oil, some spray olive oil, putting that in the pan, and then I'm going to basically just cook my turkey bacon. And I'm just stirring it up a little bit, making sure that it gets nice and crispy. And now I'm just taking some egg whites and I'm using a cup of egg whites. That's just what works best for me. Um, and I usually get mine from Aldi, by the way, just in case you're wondering. And then I'm going to be using some spinach and putting that in the pan first. I like to let that get cooked first before I put my egg whites in it. And again, I'm just stirring that a little bit just to let it get nice and cooked and softened. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in my egg whites. Now, I did forget to season the egg whites before I poured it in. You know, it doesn't make that big of a difference, but I usually do season them before I pour it in just so that, you know, it kind of gets all over the egg whites. But I'm um, just doing it now. I'm just going to use some sea salt, some onion powder, and then just some black pepper. You can season it with whatever you like, you know, make it taste good for you. And the trick to make your, your omelets like really fluffy is to create little air pockets. You see what I'm doing, like kind of at the bottom or I don't know, at the top. And then y'all can see what i'm doing i it's like i don't know but it creates layers in the omelet so it makes it look really fluffy and then it helps it cook a little bit quicker too i ain't gonna lie um because sometimes it just be taking forever i'm like okay so yeah just if you guys kind of see what i'm doing i don't have a lid to like put on top of it to kind of cook the top of it so this is just what i've been doing lately to help make it nice and fluffy and then I'm going to take this uh, multi-grain bread. This is a very low calorie bread. It's like 80 calories per serving. And the serving size is two slices. So you get a really good little, you know, little, little, little deal there. And um, yeah, I'm just toasting those up. Because that's what I'm going to have on the side. Sometimes I will make, I'll have potatoes in my um, omelet. But today was more of like a lower carb day. So I just did not do the potatoes. And I'm just using some sugar-free jam and some of the um, Smart Balance butter to put on top. And then um, I am going to use a little bit of mozzarella cheese. It's probably a little over the serving size, which is a fourth cup. I did not measure it out. I literally had a little bit of cheese left, so I just kind of put it all in there, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, so now I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of butter and a little bit of that jam on it. I don't track these things because like honestly I really don't use a lot and you know yeah um, just don't go overboard of course you can put like a little bit of butter and stuff on there but just don't go crazy you know and I don't know about y'all but I love me a little bit of hot sauce on my egg whites or on my eggs in general um, tapatio is the way for me I really like Cholula too though but that's it y'all thank y'all so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video Please don't forget to give it a like, um, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.